Hello friend today we will discuss about leprosy. In this video we will cover Introduction Symptoms of leprosy Causes of leprosy Forms of leprosy Diagnosis of leprosy Treatment of leprosy So let's get started. What is leprosy? Leprosy is an infectious disease that causes severe, disfiguring skin sores and nerve damage in the arms, legs, and skin areas around your body. Leprosy has been around since ancient times. Outbreaks have affected people on every continent. But leprosy isn't that contagious. You can catch it only if you come into close and repeated contact with nose and mouth droplets from someone with untreated leprosy. Children are more likely to get leprosy than adults. Symptoms of leprosy Leprosy primarily affects your skin and nerves outside your brain and spinal cord, called the peripheral nerves. It may also strike your eyes and the thin tissue lining the inside of your nose. The main symptom of leprosy is disfiguring skin sores, lumps, or bumps that don't go away after several weeks or months. The skin sores are pale colored. It usually takes about 3 to 5 years for symptoms to appear after coming into contact with the bacteria that causes leprosy. Some people do not develop symptoms until 20 years later. The time between contact with the bacteria and the appearance of symptoms is called the incubation period. Leprosy's long incubation period makes it very difficult for doctors to determine when and where a person with leprosy got infected. Causes of leprosy Leprosy is caused by a slow-growing type of bacteria called Mycobacterium leprae, M. leprae. Leprosy is also known as Hansen's disease, after the scientist who discovered M. leprae in 1873. It isn't clear exactly how leprosy is transmitted. When a person with leprosy coughs or sneezes, they may spread droplets containing the M. leprae bacteria that another person breathes in. Close physical contact with an infected person is necessary to transmit leprosy. It isn't spread by casual contact with an infected person, like shaking hands, hugging, or sitting next to them on a bus or at a table during a meal. Forms of Leprosy Leprosy is defined by the number and type of skin sores you have. Specific symptoms and treatment depend on the type of leprosy. The types are Tuberculoid A mild, less severe form of leprosy. People with this type have only one or a few patches of flat, pale, colored skin, possibacillary leprosy. The affected area of skin may feel numb because of nerve damage underneath. Tuberculoid leprosy is less contagious than other forms. Lepromatis A more severe form of the disease. It brings widespread skin bumps and rashes, multibacillary leprosy, numbness, and muscle weakness. The nose, kidneys, and male reproductive organs may also be affected. It is more contagious than tuberculoid leprosy. Borderline People with this type of leprosy have symptoms of both the tuberculoid and lepromatous forms. You may also hear doctors use this simpler classification. Single lesion possibacillary, SLPB1 lesion. Possibacillary PB2 to 5 lesions. Multibacillary, MB6 or more lesions. Diagnosis of leprosy. If you have a skin sore that might be leprosy, the doctor will remove a small sample of it and send it to a lab to be examined. This is called a skin biopsy. Your doctor may also do a skin smear test. If you have possibacillary leprosy, there won't be any bacteria in the test results. If you have multibacillary leprosy, there will be, you may need a lepromin skin test to see which type of leprosy you have. For this test, the doctor will inject a small amount of inactive leprosy-causing bacteria just underneath the skin of your forearm. They'll check the spot where you got the shot three days later, 
and then again 28 days later, to see if you have a reaction. If you do have a reaction, you may have tuberculoid or borderline tuberculoid leprosy. People who don't have leprosy or who have lepromatous leprosy won't have a reaction to this test. Treatment of leprosy Leprosy can be cured. In the last two decades, 16 million people with leprosy have been cured. Treatment depends on the type of leprosy that you have. Antibiotics are used to treat the infection. Doctors recommend long-term treatment, usually for six months to a year. If you have severe leprosy, you may need to take antibiotics longer. Antibiotics can't treat the nerve damage that comes with leprosy. Multidrug therapy MDT, is a common treatment for leprosy that combines antibiotics. Some combinations of homeopathic medicines used to treat leprosy are Thuja Sulfur Tuberculinum Calotropis Chalmugra oil Eliais Hydrocotyle Apis Thanks for watching. Doctor Online 24-7 by Dr. Sanabawani.